Depression feels like living inside a body that's trying to survive, with a mind that just wants to die. The dark night of the soul feels like living through a nightmare, overwhelmed with this unfathomable sense of emptiness and despair. My soul's connection to source has been severed, now I'm floating in a meaningless sea, going nowhere. Spiritual knowledge was supposed to shine the light into the unknown, give me happiness and growth, but now I just feel empty and alone. Being hyper-connected to the collective suffering of humanity, I just couldn't shake off the gut-wrenching horror of cosmic insanity. I was convinced there was no way out, no matter how much I pleaded. No amount of weed, sex and food could fill the void, so eventually I conceded. What is the purpose of humanity? Why are we here? Only to experience deep suffering and die with fear? A voice entered my head. Well, that depends on you, my friend. What have you done in this life that is worth a damn? Except feed your pride and buying into this illusory sham. Carl Jung once said, Beware of unearned wisdom. In spirituality, you must do the legwork and work up to the deep waters. Instead of jumping into the deepest end, where you will not be able to stand, your ego and a panicked frenzy will grab onto anything, even a made-up fairyland. It's like trying to fight Ganon in the first level of Legend of Zelda. You will get eaten up, shitted out, and wonder what's the point of this game. Opening Pandora's box overwhelms and fragments the soul. It took me nine months to put the pieces back together and finally feel whole. After a brutal existential crisis and unfathomable pain, the crushing weight finally became bearable and I started to feel the spiritual gains. Like a steel sword getting forged in the fire and getting beat again and again. I came out stronger, more centered and extremely content Losing my connection with Source made me truly realize what's important. My mind shifted towards a more grounded approach. Being grateful for being alive on this beautiful earth. Instead of slaying demons for spiritual points in the hellfire, sometimes the journey is all about having a laugh with the boys in the Shire. The dark night of the soul gives you an opportunity to find meaning in the darkness. At first it seems impossible, but you'll do whatever it takes to quench your soul's thirst. You just gotta be vigilant, have faith, listen, and keep going no matter what. Like Winston Churchill said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Do not try and hold on and resist the lessons. Do not focus on the existential depression but the soul's longing for transcendence. Jacob's Ladder put it perfectly. If you're afraid of dying and you're holding on, you'll see devils tearing your life away. But if you've made your peace, then the devils are really angels, freeing you from this world. It all depends on how you look at it. So if you feel like dying, allow your ego to die. Sure, it can be painful at first, especially letting go of old attachments and identifications, but eventually, this will lead into a beautiful rebirth of transformation. The Roman Catholics describe the dark night of the soul as a spiritual crisis in the journey toward union with God. Saint John of the Cross, who originally coined the dark night of the soul, wrote, Spiritual persons suffer great trials. In suffering, God gives strength. And in suffering, the soul practices and acquires virtue and becomes pure, wiser, and more cautious. God leads into the dark night those whom he desires to purify from all these imperfections so that he may bring them farther onward. And just to end this with the wise words of the late Joseph Campbell, the dark night of the soul comes just before revelation, when everything is lost, and all seems darkness. Then comes the new life and all that is needed.